I thought it'd be fun to build a meeting mode shortcut from scratch. Lately, I've been going to way too many meetings, and I decided I wanted to make a shortcut to help me out. So what am I going to do when I go to a meeting? Well, the first thing I want to do is I don't want to be disturbed when I start a meeting. So I'm going to look for do not disturb. Oops, there it is. I'm going to uh, turn it on. Actually, instead of that, what I'm going to do, now that I think about it, I can get even more fancy. Set do not disturb. If you use that command on, you can set it until I leave. So we're going to use the, uh, that command. Turn do not disturb on until I leave. So once I leave the meeting, I'll be reconnected with the world. And that's just one thing I wanted to do with a meeting. The real reason I wanted the script is so I can make creation of minutes easier. So the first thing we need to do is get the date. I want to just automatically add the date to my meeting minutes. So I'm just going to grab the date. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is get the attendees. And for this one, we're going to use a list. I know I've been kind of dumping on lists as opposed to choose from menu or uh, dictionaries. But in this case, a list would be pretty good. I'm going to write down some of my podcast pals, Stephen, Rosemary, and add one more mic. And then we're going to choose from that list. And the reason I want to do list here is because I want to be able to select multiple. So once we create that, we're going to say uh, select multiple. Yes. And we could have them selected all initially, but I don't want to do that. So we've now got the date. We've got the people attending. And the next thing we're going to need is the subject. So we're going to ask for user input. Ask. There it is. Top one. And we'll say meeting subject. And we want that to be a text field. So we're just going to make sure, yep, it's not a number, it's text. Okay, good. Now we're going to put all that together in a text field. So I'm going to go to my favorites, add a text field, and we'll give the document a title, meeting minutes. Um, we'll put the date next and we're going to use for the date, the current date. And you can see there's a variable for it at the bottom because we asked for the date earlier in the script. So I'll just tap that. And when I do that, you can see I have the formatting and time formatting. I like medium format date and short format time, but you could go in and make it longer or shorter and it just adds more details, but I like it how it is. Uh, but what I don't like is I realize I put the variable right after the word date. So I'm going to go in there and put the cursor after date colon space. Uh, that will look better. All right. Then we're going to hit return and we're going to say subject. And once again, we're going to grab the subject for this meeting. We have it right above us in this ask for input. And you see there's the ask for input box in the variable list. So I can just tap that. And I'm going to go ahead and rename it while I've got it open. We're going to call this meeting subject just to make the script really clear. Because once I do this, if everything's working right, not only does it show up in the box as meeting subject, it also changes the name in the ask for input. You see how that now says meeting subject there. And then we're going to do the same thing with the attendees. And we're going to insert the list that we selected at the top. Now, currently, it's just list there. But once we select it, and that would be the selected items, we're going to rename that one too. And we'll call that attendees. Okay, so now that I've collected data and put it into a document, I'm going to go in and do some more minute stuff. Items discussed, action items from meeting. And I'm not going to write anything in there. The whole idea for me is to have this in a text file in front of me while I'm sitting in the meeting. All right, we're looking good so far. We've got text, but what are we going to do with it? Let's put it into an Apple note. So I'm going to say note, Apple notes, create note. And I'm going to just drag that to the bottom and it's going to create that note with that text. I'll tap to show more and say, yeah, we want to see the compose sheet. So I think we're pretty good. So what are we doing? We turn on do not disturb. 
we get the current date, we get the list of the attendees, we get the subject, and then we create the basic text for the meeting minutes. I think we're good. I'm gonna hit the uh, play button in the lower right corner. All right, who's attending? Steven, Rosemary, Mike. What's the subject? Podcast planning. And that's it, it created the minutes for us. We got the title, the date, the subject, the attendees, and then space to type in for items discussed and action items from the meeting. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna use that now when I go in my meetings. Feel free to download this and customize it to make it work for you.